Banahene Tutorial Collections welcomes you to another tutorials. In these tutorials, we are going to learn how to group ships or pictures or any other inserted object in OneNote software. And this video production is based on a lovely comment from a cherished and valued viewer in my community. And this comment says, Can I group in OneNote? And this comment is based on this video I've already posted on my channel that says how to group objects or items in Microsoft PowerPoint. And based on this video, I had this comment from this cherished viewer. And I happily replied by saying thanks for your comment. I will notify you with a video on this channel. Appreciate your support and keep monitoring for notification. So based on this comment, we are going to learn how to group shapes or pictures in OneNote software. Now, sometimes it is helpful to combine multiple items on a page or in a document into a single item. For example, grouping together pictures or shapes makes it easier to move them around and keep them aligned than if kept moving each individually. Now, a big notice in OneNote software. You can't group and ungroup items the way you do in other Microsoft Office softwares such as PowerPoint, Word or Excel. But we can use a simple trick to get this done. And in this video, I'm going to show you two tricks you can use to group your ships or objects in OneNote software, which will look very similar to how objects or ships are grouped in PowerPoint, Word and also Excel. Now, this is my interface of OneNote software and you can see that I have some pictures inserted and also these square shapes also inserted in OneNote software. So in your page within OneNote, you can insert and also position your pictures and shapes the way you want them to be. And as you can see, this is how I've aligned and also positioned my shapes and also pictures. So we are going to base on this and learn how to group them in OneNote software. Now let's assume that you want to insert a picture into OneNote. You move to the menu bar and click on the insert tab. And in this ribbon, we have pictures option. Click on the drop down arrow and you have these three options available. You can choose from file, you can choose from camera and also you can choose from online. And I inserted these pictures from my computer system. So I choose the first option. And when you do so, you get this insert picture dialog box. You can select a location where all your pictures are located. Then you insert a picture into OneNote software. And to draw a shape, you go to draw on the menu bar and we have shapes. Click on the drop down arrow and these are the shapes available. We have lines, basic shapes, graphs, and you can choose any of the shapes and draw on your page in OneNote software. Now that we have this done, let's see how we can group these shapes or pictures in OneNote software. I am going to start with the shapes. And the first trick to select and group your shapes in OneNote software is to make sure that after inserting your shape, you click elsewhere in this OneNote so that you can have all the shapes deselected. Then you position your pointer above any of this shape and then click to drag over it. And when you do so, this is going to have a temporal selection around these ships and you can move them around as a single object so you can see that i am moving these three selected ships as one object but if i click outside i'm going to have them deselected therefore when you click you are going to have these individual ships available so the first trick is to have a temporal selection that is to click and drag to select your ships and you have them as one single object now let's link to the pictures now how can we also group these pictures if you want to have the temporal selection you can also click around it then you have this as one object so you can see that i'm moving these objects or pictures around in my one note software now the second trick to have a group ships or group objects or pictures in one note software is to have a permanent grouping and to do this we are going to hold the windows key the shift key and the letter s on the keyboard and when you do this you are going to bring out the snipping tool or the snip and sketch tool and that gives you the option to select an area within your software 
therefore I'm going to click and select these three pictures and release the mouse and after doing this sometimes you're going to have a pop-up of this window that shows you the captured area within your software and if you want to easily identify this you move to your action center at the right bottom corner and click on this icon and when you click on this icon we have this snip and sketch option and this is the captured area we had in OneNote software so we are going to click on this then we have this snip and sketch window you have so many options you can apply to this image and you can click on this to save this on your computer system you can also choose this option which is copy command if i choose this and move to one root and hold ctrl plus v on the keyboard this is going to paste as one image and i can position this in this page in one root software and as you can see this is one image or one object selected you can move this around based on your preference as well if you want to have a permanent image on your computer system you can click on this icon then choose a location and save this image by giving a file name to it then you click on save now let's close this window if I move to the desktop I have this image saved on my desktop background in one note if I want to insert this image I'll move to insert move to pictures file then you choose the location where the picture is located click and choose insert and now I have this inserted as one image so this is how to insert shapes and also pictures into one note software and group them based on your preference or whatever work that you are doing within OneNote software.